Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome to FX Maniac. This is Sayyid Mahmoud Amiri again. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this cool Thor hammer moving effect. It's like it's, uh, you know, Thor has summoned his uh, hammer. So we're going to be creating this effect using Element 3D inside of After Effects and a couple of lighting elements from Footage Crate. So I'll put the link in the description and you can go ahead and check it out. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to do so. And also, if you want to support me and get some awesome project files, make sure to check out my Patreon page. Alright, so let's get started. So, yeah, we have some lighting effects, some Thor hammer and stuff. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do this using Element 3D. So, first off, for the model, I went into, um, what's it called? free3d.com. I'll make sure to put this link in the description so you guys can go and download this model for free. And once you bring this model inside of After Effects, what I'm going to do is I'll create a new composition. So I'm going to name this like Hammer VFX. Okay. And I'm going to create a new solid and apply element to it. Effect Video Copilot Element. So I'm actually going to go inside and here we are and I'm going to click on import and it'll take me to like wherever you've downloaded the model so you bring this one right here and hit OK and what I'm going to do is just scale this up uh, quite a lot so you have the hammer itself and then you have the sort of ground layer so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and sort of uh, where's the ground here so we have one ground and we have the second one so I'm going to select both of them. I'll drag them out of this, uh, you know, model here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate this. So this is going to be the hammer itself. And I'm going to take this one, double click on this, and this is going to be the ground. Okay. So I'm going to go into the ground and hit, hold down Alt and click on this one and on the top one as well on the bottom one. So this one is going to be only the ground. If I turn off the hammer, so we have the ground only. And then for the hammer itself, I'm actually going to go and turn this back on and I'll turn off these two grounds here. So if I go back here, I turn off this, we have the hammer itself right here. And what I'm going to do is while we're here, what I'm going to do is select the hammer layer and hit E on this. So the anchor point is actually way over here. So I'm actually going to go into the alignment and set it to top or let's see here for model yeah and I'm actually going to place this somewhere that I feel is gonna fit pretty well so I'm actually gonna hit E and rotate it like what 180 degrees and hit Z on this to sort of frame this and I'm actually gonna place this like somewhere very flat we don't want the surface to be that much bumpy so I'm actually gonna select the ground hit R and sort of flatten it out right and then move it down here. Okay, so we want the hammer to be somewhere like this. And we don't want this ground to have this texture, so I'm actually going to use a Pro Shaders, or you can, you can get a texture from the internet. So in the original example, I probably used like one of these concretes, so I'm actually going to drop them here, just like that. And I'm actually going to go and set the UV mapping to box, so that we have like good UVs here. And yeah, for the hammer itself, I'm actually going to go and select it. And we have some textures. So here is the body. I'm actually going to go and click on diffuse. And again, it'll take me to the where I have the texture. So we have the color. I'm actually going to load it here. So we got the color just like that. And for the glossiness, I'm actually going to go and bring the specular. And for the displacement, uh, normal bump, I'm going to go and load the displacement map. So we have the displacement as well. So yeah, just like that, we have the Thor hammer. And then for the rest of the materials, I've actually used like these uh, physical materials. So I've probably added like a red to these, to these bands here. In this case, we want it to be like this. So I'm actually going to go and switch to my original example and let you, let you guys see what it is there. So right here we have the Thor uh, hammer model and we have our ground here. So for the ground I've actually used like a little ground texture. And yeah, so this is it. 
and I've put the Thor hammer model on the first group so I've actually basically like dragged it out of the group and set it to first and then for the ground itself I've actually set it to group 2 because I want to animate the Thor hammer going up right so I'm actually gonna go and hit OK on this so we have it here right and then if I solo this uh, I've also used a background and HDRI for the environment so if I turn on the uh, HDRI you can see that it's here so I've used the video copilot backlight here so I've used this model this uh, sort of HDRI but you can use a different one based on your needs we're, we're really not like seeing these environments I've actually used it for pure like background purposes so you can use any of them that you want I've actually used this and if you don't have the video copilot backlight don't worry because you can go into this awesome website called polyhaven and you go to the HDRIs and you have a lot of really high quality HDRI so if I go indoor you have indoor models and a lot of other things that you can choose from so you can click on this and you can download up to like 16k uh, HDR sort of images and use them in your projects alright so yeah and finally I'm gonna hit OK so we have this and if I hit U here I've actually went into group 1 and position XY so it's basically if I set this to like third it's basically moving the hammer up and down so I've actually keyframed it to sort of move up from this position just like slightly move up to sort of show that it's sort of gravitating right and then the other thing I did was I've created a camera so the camera is right here so we'll get the camera move just to move around the hammer itself just like a little parallax movement and then I have a light here that what it does is it creates a shadow so it's right here so if I hit P on this I can change the position and it'll actually change the shadow position as well so if I double click on this light the color is sort of like a yellowy light color and I have cast shadows on hit OK and then I went to element 3D for the render settings and I've actually uh, you know showed the environment in the background and again I'm using the camera uh, if I hit AA on the camera I have the depth of field on so if I, if I have this off you see it's looking really it's not looking that great but this gift the depth of field gives it like a very sort of menacing look so I've actually so you do want to play around with the focus distance to be able to get the desired effect that you want like the focus area that you want and then the amount of blur that you want right so just like that and then for the light I went back to element 3d turned on the shadows so we have the shadows also I've used ambient occlusion which plays a big part in this so it creates like contact shadows set the intensity to 13.8 and the radius to 3 and what else I have the cinema lighting here so if I set this to none we won't be having any lighting from element 3d so I've set the cinema lighting and played around with the settings to be able to get this cool blue look so yeah till here we have our lighting we have our shadow and we have our depth of field and the next thing we're gonna do is I've added like a little blue sort of overlay to give it that sort of cool blue look and then added an adjustment layer with the curves to sort of boost the you know intensity of this a little bit and then comes the lighting part so we can probably create these lighting effects with the advanced lighting effect inside of After Effects but you know uh, if you really want to have some really awesome high-end stuff footage elements uh, I highly recommend you go into footage crate uh, production crate which is uh, you know sort of sponsored our channel and uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to get 20% off of these elements so if I go into footage crate they have like everything that you can think of for you know visual effects you have action elements magic powers blood water ice zombie motion graphic elements they have graphics 3d VR sound effects music and everything so I'll put the link in the description and you can search for um, super lighting effects and then you have these awesome lighting elements which I've actually used a couple of them 
for this project right here. So you see we have a bunch of them and they're all like 4K quality, so they're very high end. And just like that, you know, and finally I've added like two glow effects to really sort of boost them. And yeah, that's basically the effect. And finally, if I go into this comp one, I've added like some camera shake. So the way you would do that is it's very simple. You hit P and then you go into position and you type in like wiggle and parentheses, how many times per second you want. So I want five times per second. And I've created a slider control and linked it to this value because I want to be able to keyframe the amount of shaking that we want. So right where it starts, I want the shaking to sort of happen just like that and yeah we want to gradually sort of stop so we have the lighting here and then it stops right so that is basically how you would create this effect it's a very simple effect all right so this was the today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it hope you learned something from it and if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel and till the next one enjoy working